Hello and welcome to Skeleton Dungeon. Filled with skeletons and jellyfish and squid things with shells and vines and bumpers and skulls and that skull just disappeared. That's creepy! Woohoo! Oh yeah, and rotating flame things. Ah! Crud. Should not have done that. Not one of the things on my to-do list. Just checking all of these skulls. Sometimes skulls have keys under them. Usually that is not the case though. But we did get a heart. I like hearts. Hearts are good for us. Squids are not good for us. Die, squid, die! Roar! Jeez, this guy has a lot more health than the last one. He had four times as much health. God, oh no. Oh, jeez. Yeah, and then a whole bunch of pitfalls appear out of nothing. Yay. That makes complete sense. Oh, yes. Just hit this skeleton like that, and... A really easy way to rid yourself of these money mummies is... Okay, the torch doesn't quite work. But the item that we get in here will work. I was going to say, light them on fire, and there's something that lets us do that in this very... Or, I said temple. I meant dungeon, okay? Ah, crud. And the wall masters are back. So yeah, all that stuff I was just talking about, and wall masters. Those are back too. Oh, how I hate wall masters. With great intensity. Die, squid thing. I'm just going to call them squid things, because I cannot describe what they are. There is actually, like, a kind of version of them in, um... Link's Awakening for the Game Boy. But... Or no. The DX version, the color version. The Game Boy Color version of it. That's a pretty good game. I never got very far, but I finally... Um... Got past the second dungeon. I haven't played in years, but I finally started playing it again, and now I'm actually making some progress. Yay, progress. Uh, not yay, zombies. This is about the closest to a zombie you're going to get, besides skeletons, which aren't really zombies. They're just... Ah, uh, dang it! Uh, jeez. The stupid door lagged me, and I was going to move back and try and attack him, but... Stupid opening door lag. Yeah, they just freeze the whole entire thing and do that. It's not nice! Grah. Take that. I'm taking out my vengeance on that squid guy. I wonder if I get anything if I kill everybody in here, but I already... There's already a treasure chest in here, so that's kind of... Doubtable. Jeez, these guys eat up health. There. Yeah. Get away! I will slice you! Maybe I can just bomb these guys. Yay. Ah! Painful. Yeah, I'm just going to set bombs all around his area and blow him to smithereens. That's fun. Of course, it's also a big waste of bombs, but... Entertaining, nonetheless. Oh, I can just... I am so stupid sometimes. I mean, I'm not the best at this game. Right now, I'm just doing bad. I usually do okay on this game. Uh, I swear. I played some more Super Kaizo Mario, and I got to the second world. That game is frustrating. And I'm also playing Brutal Mario, which is another Mario hack, and that one's pretty good, too. And that's a giant treasure chest, which we cannot open yet. And that's a 
regular door, which we also cannot open yet. And I just did that for the sake of doing that. So you can just go through there. Sometimes you want to just... Kind of... Something. I don't know. But yeah, this dungeon... Introduces something. Having to go out the temple and... Or dungeon and find more entrances. Because all of these holes lead into new entrances. I think we went in that one. Let's go on this one. And as you can see, we're in some different place we've never seen before. Fun. Let's get that key. See if we can get any health. Leave me alone, zombies! Oh, wonderful. They just boxed me in so I can't really escape them. Zombies. Yeah. Stupid wall master. Stupid gah. Stupid gah. Get the zombies away. I think there's a door down here, but we can't. Oh, no, no, no. Ugh. Let me just check this. I have a good feeling that there's some... Yep, bomb the wall. Ooh, that was eight bombs. Is that normal? I'm not sure if you normally get eight bombs. I don't know. Huh? What happened? What was that? Let's try doing this. Aha! Ha! Take that game. Oh boy. Ah. Oh, and it leads into the room with the big chest. Okay, so as soon as we need that, we'll get it. Oh crud. Let me see this. More random stuff. Because I have nothing better to do. Whoops. That's not how I wanted that to happen. This is how I wanted it to happen. And, uh, absolutely nothing of use. Okay. So, yeah, as far as you can tell, I hate this dungeon. And this dungeon hates me, too. Ow. And that's the first time I've ever gotten hit by a spike. I shouldn't have ever gotten hit by a spike. Yeah. Unless it's the absolute only way to get damaged. I don't think I should really be getting damaged by spikes that much. Ugh. So... Yes. This is a very annoying dungeon. In my opinion. This is a very annoying enemy. They're kind of hard to get at without, um... Getting hit by their tongue. Those crazy things. They're kind of like substitutes for like likes. I think like likes only appeared in this game on the Game Boy Advance version. Die, zombie. Die, zombie. Zombie must die. Arr, zombie angry. the statue, bring it over here, and get in there. And go into this room. Home to getting killed! No! At least want the treasure chest, thank you. Okay, we'll just go on ahead and get killed. And that's the end of that. Okay, we're done with this episode. I just did a horrible job right there. I really apologize for the horrible job I did in this episode. I'll see you all next time.